Kamala, yo no Tamala, yo no gada. Tamala, yo no gada. Bu andak hahan, dek, hif, nam melchirewam agrechute. Deg lul make batop, mi po konche gal musuh mi, mune tali nyu jar jaram. Ko mi di trop si big gal, because nga tok seben sa soko bu ge problem la, because of sedai bi nakala mel. Dah deh ni aku jalan, way dah ni aku benar aku way dah deg deg bukan nasi gali. Mana kau amun ya, mana kau gal balam mana beri ni deh. Mana kau, wah betul, alhamdulillah tu si jalan defrek mana mana kalau deh, mungkin aku lah deh fikir defa mungkin aku mahu fikir defa defa dereng aku amne jalan mau ini ni. Buma kau just sih gay, mang don joy. Mang buma kau deg deg, fuga nara dal, kebab buma kau tiga hatbut. Mana ni aku defa mesti si mantor, way mana defa ni kan itu kau amne, mana semua orang orang yang mood pur mugi ana. Je suis en train de faire un examen à l'UTG et à mon bureau, je suis en train de travailler. Je suis en train de me dire qu'il n'y a pas d'argent. Je suis en train de me dire qu'il n'y a pas d'argent. Je suis en train de me dire qu'il n'y a pas d'argent. Je suis en train de me dire qu'il n'y a pas d'argent parce que c'est ma condition. Maintenant, je suis en train de me dire qu'il n'y a pas d'argent. Je suis en train de me dire qu'il n'y a pas d'argent. Il y a trois jours que je suis en train de me dire. Trois jours que je suis en train de me dire qu'il n'y a pas d'argent. Personne n'a pas d'argent. Kabitamin mulu problem la dengek. Hechobi amun yang mula vitamin pas. Dah bida dengi udah duga nuba. So sedai binga dia fana nubo borset. Amo dem daralas ye gud. Afiri gal bila fanya u as surprise to me. Afiri kisdal. So yon bi mum so sejare kom koham sa dokori ini kurmu duga aku. Duga si yon yu melni because afu pin. Bi li bi gal bi kapsaite. Time bo bula yeng de keba dem na. Je n'ai pas d'expérience, je n'ai pas d'expérience, je n'ai pas d'expérience de la vie. C'est une femme qui est trop. Le temps est venu et le temps est venu. Le temps est venu et le temps est venu. Le temps est venu et le temps est venu. Je n'ai pas eu de temps. 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 Il n'y a pas eu de temps. Je n'ai pas eu de temps. Indah kiri di kebab top, aku nak fufu caba belon. Kau ni megal bimu ayah, muda ni boleh sen jaga di dalam dengan kosan, because time bu nu lalai engage spin bu apa re. Legend tu kau cie episode bi di tamala, si serius ugat dayu inlandi indil kolel sabut, cie telebi. Deglul mak kebab top, mi bok kau cie gal musuh mi. Di nengland kau indil, sam di nyeti fan cie biru eru Oktober 2020. Fatale kul ne Babylon, mungi fisi jalaf, waie nak cie bok kau gome. Tamala, you're not gonna die. Can I want to smell like a ladom? Adam, I see beard the cube. Boda, you know that advantage. Eska boda, you know how much they're going to dance to Kanda Kuni. They am Jeffy Jeffy. I'm the Jonah. Ligay Kati. Est-ce que les gens sont en train de faire des choses Il n'y a rien à faire. Les gens qui ont fait des choses dans le monde, 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 ont fait des choses dans le monde. Est-ce que les gens ont fait des choses dans le monde Ils ont fait des choses dans le monde, ont fait des choses dans le monde. Wahai jaya kat jingga kami ni ni nyonya nak si buat apa dia yang kotor si walau jenak kajai lagi zaman nak join tol ni lantai fana ke? Jadi kita fikir buat yang nong suruh bangun mana kami nyari web dua jaya biar nak gambar. Bas menak dem na bangga kami ni 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 film tol ni sah gumut ingko wahai lagi nak rawul hamoi ni nak si buat apa lantai mula nak di sana. Kif. Dia pas dah lima dia pas enam dia begit. Supersonic's money transfer is giving you an unbeatable bonanza from now until the end of October. Yes! From now till the end of October, you stand a chance of winning a bag of rice when you receive monies into Gambia from UK, Europe. 
USA, Canada, and Switzerland with Supersonics Money Transfer. Amazing! So from now till the end of October, every time you receive monies in the Gambia from UK, Europe, USA, Canada, and Switzerland, you stand a chance of winning a bag of rice. Only 100 bags available, so hurry now and be part of the 100 lucky winners in this special unbeatable bonanza from now until the end of October with Supersonics Money Transfer. Enjoy our safe, fast, reliable, and convenient money transfer service with the largest payout network in the Gambia with charges starting from zero. Yes! Visit the Google Play Store or the Apple Store today to download the Supersonics Money Transfer app and enjoy excellent money transfer services only with Supersonics. The unbeatable bonanza with Supersonics. Yeah, welcome to um, the GAM Sobis in Focus. And um, I want to say uh, good evening to all the viewers out there of the Gambian uh, Talents TV. Um, this evening, we have the Director General of the National Center for Arts and Culture, uh, Mr. Hasum Sise. He's a great historian, and at the same time, he was the former Director for Copyrights in the Gambia. And now he is the executive director of the National Center for Arts and Culture. Uh, Mr. Sise, uh, welcome to the program. Thank you. Um, yeah, yeah, we we were trying uh, the past weeks to get you, but I know because of your busy schedules, um, you could not be able to make it to this program. Um, as I told you, and uh, earlier on. Um, this program is geared towards promoting uh, Gambian uh, creative sector and at the same time trying to find out some of the gaps and, uh, and also trying to find solutions where we can be able to um, um, continue with the advocacy um, uh, to present the arts as a vibrant uh, contributor to the socioeconomic development of the Gambia. Um, Hasum, can you tell uh, the viewers something about um, your center and what you do personally as the director? Well, thank you very much, um, Kalilu, um, for your interest in promoting arts and culture. Um, through this program, and even before this, um, your engagement with the music in here. Um, in the National Center for Arts and Culture, we do many things. Um, mm -hmm. we, do, um, we take our heritage, um, like the Stone Circles, James Island, you know, Kachikali, the Crocodile Site, uh, as one aspect of our work, is, um, the sites and monuments we call them. Number two, we take care of museums, okay, and we have them, like in Georgetown, mm -hmm. Ankorang Museum, at, uh, at Wasu, the Stone Star mm -hmm. Museum, in Banjul, the National Museum. And number three, uh, also, I mean, performing art, you know, music, dance, theater, drama, mm -hmm. fine art, you know, literature. Exactly. Um, and number five, um, you know, copyright. Okay. Yeah. So basically, uh, uh, those are our key, you know, mandates. Like in addition to being the arm of government, I mean, that's responsible for 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 you know the upkeep and the promotion of arts and culture. Exactly. Um, I, you have mentioned about uh, four important parts of your sector, which is the heritage side, uh, the cultural side, uh, the museum sites, and also the copyright. And uh, um, for our interests, um, we want to promote all these things because they are all part of the, the development of the Gambia. But uh, our focus uh, with regards to the arts institution, we want to focus on copyright and uh, the performing arts uh, as a sector. Um, um, what are the levels of uh, programs uh, within the NCAC that is steering the affairs of the performing arts sector? Uh, well, there's a directorate. Uh, I mean, one of the directorates um, has to do with literature, performing, and fine arts. Mm -hmm. So basically, um, you know, this takes care of um, music uh, in all the performing arts, the fine arts, and literature. Um, so that is a very, very big, I mean, department. Now, okay. as far as, as our engagements are concerned, there are many. Um, for example, um, through the promotion of festivals. You know, we do a lot of work on that. 
this can mm -hmm. be community festivals in you know, urban festivals. What mm -hmm. we do, we support technically, mm -hmm. like training, festival management, financial, mm -hmm. like token, you know, financial, you know, subsidy, festival organizers. Um, on music, you know, we mm -hmm. work with music, you know, Gambian musicians. Uh -huh. Just as I speak, you know, we are working with ECOWAS to take some, you know, to get some Gambian musicians to, you know, create, you know, songs on COVID-19. You know, we are on that with ECOWAS and UNESCO in the past, you know, two weeks, you know, doing the logistics for that. Um, uh -huh. We are necessary, you know, because um, we register musicians, you know, as part of the artist registration requirement um, of the NCAC. Um, uh -huh. Now and then they want to travel, you know, to do gigs, you know, to honor contracts abroad. You know, we come in, we cannot issue visas, and we cannot make anybody to issue visas, but we can facilitate that, you know, through our ministry and the foreign ministry. For example, last year, that's how the Super Eagles, you know, we work with them to support them to, you know, tour Europe, you uh -huh. know, and, and like a host of other musicians, you know, they all pass through us, you know, we do... We went to foreign affairs and, you know, uh Supersonic's money transfer is giving you an unbeatable bonanza from now until the end of October. Yes! From now till the end of October, you stand a chance of winning a bag of rice when you receive monies in the Gambia from UK, Europe, USA, Canada and Switzerland with Supersonic's money transfer. Amazing! So from now till the end of October, every time you receive monies in the Gambia from UK, Europe, USA, Canada and Switzerland, you stand a chance of winning a bag of rice. Only 100 bags available, so hurry now and be part of the 100 lucky winners in this special unbeatable bonanza from now until the end of October with Supersonic's money transfer. Enjoy our safe, fast, reliable and convenient money transfer service with the largest payout network in the Gambia with charges starting from zero. Yes! Visit the Google Play Store or the Apple Store today to download the Supersonics Money Transfer app and enjoy excellent money transfer services only with Supersonics. The unbeatable bonanza with Supersonics. You know, they were able to tour Europe and, you know, come back. Um, these are uh, some of the latest engagements we do, you know, with, you know, musicians. I, I start with musicians because I know that's what your interest is about. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm, I'm also about right filmmakers, you know, we train filmmakers, you know, mm -hmm. and, and, uh, we are very, very active, you know, with filmmakers, you know, we work with, I mean, UNESCO, I'm like, you know, four or five years ago to train you know, Gambian filmmakers. Very big project, very successful. Mm -hmm. As late as, um, you know, last summer, um, you know, we started a project, you know, funded by UNESCO called Entrepreneurship in the Arts and Culture. So what we did mm -hmm. was to get some music producers, some music publishers, you know, music managers, you know, film producers, and they were trained over a period of, you know, eight weeks on entrepreneurship in their sector. How can they be entrepreneurs? You know, how can they be? Um, and number five. Um, and Switzerland, you stand a chance of winning a bag of rice. Only 100 bags available, so hurry now and be part of the 100 lucky winners in this special unbeatable bonanza from now until the end of October with Supersonic's money transfer. Enjoy our safe, fast, reliable, and convenient money transfer service with the largest payout network in the Gambia with charges starting from zero. Yes! Visit the Google Play Store or the Apple Store today to download the Supersonics Money Transfer app and enjoy excellent money transfer services only with Supersonics. The unbeatable bonanza with Supersonics. Yeah, welcome to um, the Gum Sobis in Focus. And um, I want to say uh, good evening to all the viewers out there of the Gambia, to the socioeconomic development of the Gambia. Um, Hasum, can you tell uh, the viewers something about um, your center and what you do personally as the director? Well, thank you very much, um, Kalilu, um, for your interest in promoting arts and culture. Um, through this program, and even before this, um, your engagement with the Music Guinea. Um, 
in the National Center for Arts and Culture, we do many things. Um, mm -hmm. we, do, um, we take our heritage, um, the stone circles, James Island, you know, Kachikali, the crocodile site, uh, as one aspect of our work, um, the sites and monuments we call them. Number two, we take care of museums. Okay, and we have them, like in Georgetown, mm -hmm. Ankurang Museum, at, uh, at exactly. Wasu, the Stone mm -hmm. Star Museum, in Banjul, the National Museum. And number three, uh, also, I mean, performing art, you know, music, dance, theater, drama, mm -hmm. fine art, you know, literature. Exactly. Um, and number five, um, you know, copyright. Okay. Yeah, so are, are, are those are our key, you know, mandates. Like in addition to being the arm of government, I mean responsible for 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 you know the upkeep and the promotion of arts and culture. Exactly. Um, I, you have mentioned about uh, four important parts of your sector, which is the heritage side, uh, the cultural side, uh, the museum sites, and also the copyright. And uh, um, for our interests, um, we want to promote all these things because they are all part of the, the development of the Gambia. But uh, our focus uh, with regards to the arts institution, we want to focus on copyright and uh, the performing arts uh, as a sector. Um, um, what are the levels of uh, programs uh, within the NCAC that is steering the affairs of the performing arts sector? Uh, well, there's a directorate. Uh, I mean, one of the directorates um, has to do with literature, performing, and fine arts. Mm -hmm. So basically, um, you know, this takes care of um, music uh, in all the performing arts, the fine arts, and literature. Um, so that is a very, very big, I mean, department. Now, okay. as far as, as our engagements are concerned, there are many. Um, for example, um, through the promotion of festivals. You know, we do a lot of work on that. This can mm -hmm. be community festivals, you know, urban festivals. What mm -hmm. we do, we support technically, mm -hmm. like training, festival management, financial, mm -hmm. like token, you know, financial, you know, subsidy, festival organizers. Um, on music, you know, we mm -hmm. work with music, you know, with Gambian musicians. Mm -hmm. Just as I speak, you know, we are working with ECOWAS to take some, you know, to get some Gambian musicians to, you know, create, you know, songs on COVID-19. You know, we are on that with ECOWAS and UNESCO in the past, you know, two weeks, you know, doing the logistics for that. Um, mm -hmm. We are necessary, you know, because um, we register musicians, you know, as part of the artist registration requirement um, of the NCAC. Um, mm -hmm. Now and then they want to travel, you know, to do gigs, you know, to honor contracts abroad. You know, we come in, we cannot issue visas, and we cannot make anybody to issue visas, but we can facilitate that, you know, through our ministry and foreign ministry. For example, last year, that's how the Super Eagles, you know, we work with them to support them to, you know, tour Europe you uh -huh. know, and, and like a host of other musicians, you know, they all pass through us. You know, we do. We went to foreign affairs, um, you know, I mean, recommend them, you know, they got a note verbal and, you know, they were able to tour Europe and, you know, come back. Um, these are some of the latest engagements we do, you know, with, you know, musicians. I, I start with musicians because I know that's what your interest is about. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, about I'm, I'm, about I'm, you know, we train filmmakers. You know, mm -hmm. we are very, very active, you know, with filmmakers, you know, we work with, I mean, UNESCO, I'm like, you know, four or five years ago to train you know, Gambian filmmakers, a very big project, very successful. Mm -hmm. As late as, um, you know, last summer, um, you know, we started a project, you know, funded by UNESCO called Entrepreneurship in the Arts and Culture. Yeah, what we did mm -hmm. was to get some music producers, some music publishers, you know, music managers, you know, film producers, and they were trained over a period of, you know, eight weeks on entrepreneurship in their sector. How can they be entrepreneurs? You know, how can they be investors? You know, employing people and making their life. 
you know. And, no, I, and I, 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 I think I think I think that is an important part that you are talking about. That is a cultural entrepreneurship um, training program, which uh, UNESCO is offering to uh, the, uh, the the art sector. Um, um, that will come to the question of the uh, IFCP uh, fund. I don't know what you can tell us about it because in 2018 or 19, thereabout, there was uh, this uh, training program that was conducted by UNESCO uh, to be able to measure uh, um, uh, the um, to be able to measure the extent to which the creative sectors contribute to the national socio-economic development of a country. And then they call it the periodic uh, report. And this periodic report was the QPR. And at that time, the National Center for Arts and Culture uh, uh, did clearly mention that they were not reporting. That was the reason why they could not benefit from those funds. And I am aware that those funds, um, uh, they range from, the, from, from an amount of 50,000, 100,000 US dollars. What can you tell us about that? The IFP, the well, thank you very much. International Fund for Cultural Development. Um, yeah. Yes, yes. I mean, the Gambia um, signed the two, 2005 UNESCO Convention on Cultural Diversity. Exactly. Um, but um, since we signed, um, you know, we were unable to report, you know, due to many factors. So, you know, one of them, you know, politics. Uh, oh. But uh, luckily, because of the new political dispensation, you know, we worked with UNESCO, and last year we successfully filed our first report. You know, thanks, you know, to strong participation from all the stakeholders in the arts and culture sector, they came you know, to support us. So now, as we speak, the Gambia has filed a report; it is accepted. So now mm -hmm. the Gambia is qualified to apply for the IFCB. Um, okay. And I want to use this opportunity to encourage you know, artists, particularly artistic groups, that now that we have successfully reported to UNESCO, mm -hmm. we can now apply for funding for our projects through the IFCD. And, and, and I'm sure um, the Gambia has never applied. So mm -hmm. if we apply this time, and, and really we at the NCAC, you know, we don't want to apply, you know, I mean, and we don't want to, you know, take the opportunity, <laughs> you know, from the artists. You know, I was telling Sir Omar the last time, you know, um, that he started working with a consortium of, you know, musicians, writers, you know, and, and filmmakers and dramatists to submit one big project for the IFCD up to the tune of $100,000. Yeah, so, so I, was, I was talking about that. Um, um, I, I don't want to cut you off, but uh, th that is also my mind. My mind is um, uh, if we can uh, put a consortium together, and then this consortium will comprise of all the different arts associations, and then we can come up with something uh, concrete um, uh, that will be measurable, and then we can submit this um, uh, uh, to, to be able to get this funding. I, I think $100,000 will be able to help uh, the creative sector of the Gambia. Yes, I fully agree. And, and really, at the NCAC, that is what we are working on right now. And we don't want to... Um, our our mandate, uh, what mm -hmm. government has told us, is to support artists. You know, not to compete. You know, with okay. artists, particularly okay. when it comes to this funding. You know, mm -hmm. there are some types of funding like the IFCD. Mm -hmm. If you are a non-state actor, it's even better. You stand you know. out. Exactly. So that's why I, I I agree with you, and Sir Omar is really working on that so that um, um, four or five sectors in the arts come together and submit um, a proposal. And I think the first meetings have taken place, you know, and, and you know, the Dakar office in UNESCO are waiting for us. They are very, very eager because Gambia has never applied for IFC. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. So, I've, been receiving, I've been receiving notice uh, of that funding when I was working with the Mandemori Foundation for Performing Arts and at the same time, the musicians union. But always uh, uh, th th there has been some kind of constraint because the requirement is that you must get a recommendation from the Center for Arts. And at the same time, um, uh, during that period, the reporting was not done. So we, we could not be able to tap those funds. Now, now I want to assure you that, now I uh -huh. want to assure you that, um, you know, we have reported successfully for the first time. Okay. And our report has been accepted. Um, wow. So now the doors are open. Yes. 
Okay, interesting. I think, okay, this is, um, uh, um, this um, brings me to a point um, uh, where I will want you to talk about that. That is the reason why you supported and initiated for the creation of the arts associations. And then things like this, um, we can put synergies together to be able to apply for fundings like this, to be able to uh, collaborate, to be able to build partnerships within the arts associations in the Gambia. So what do you say to that? What, what do you say um, uh, to the, um, the formations, um, the, the reasons behind the formations of the arts associations? Well, thank you very much. I mean, I mean the arts associations, um, um, you know, legal bodies, you know, as you know, enshrined in the Copyright Act, you know, 2004, uh, uh -huh. Music Union, um, Writers Association, Book Publishers Association, Film Producers Association, um, Film Producers Association, and you know, Theatre Association. Yeah, you know, these uh, are recognized in the law of the Gambia. So, so you know, that's number one to start from. I mean, they are recognized legal you know, entities. So okay. that, I mean, I mean, I mean, the music association don't even have to go and register <laughs> because it is recognized by, I mean, laws of the Gambia, like you know, like, you know, you know, like the writers, you know, I mean, I mean, association of the Gambia, you know, which I belong to, and, mm. and which our former vice president, like we don't need to, you know, register with anybody. Because you know we are you know recognized in Gambian you know law and statutes. Now the idea was um, to use these associations to mm -hmm. bring together artists mm -hmm. so that they will have a voice mm -hmm. in the sector. Um, exactly. Because unity is strength. That's number mm -hmm. one. Number two, the idea was also to bring artists together in these associations so as to facilitate the copyright collecting societies you know work okay exactly. and, and, mm -hmm. and 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 number three you know i mean what these associations um are meant to do is you know like mentoring and mentorship i mean i mean when you are in the association you have senior members you know middle level members you know and junior members so the idea was i mean this hierarchy will be able to mentor you know exchange ideas share ideas you know, so as to I mean, I mean, have a continuous improvement in, mm -hmm. in, in you know, expertise in the various artistic sectors. For example, at the Writers Association, we have senior writers there, you know, and but mm -hmm. now we also have like young writers who are coming up and now and then in our meetings, you know, we have like two, three hours, you know, workshops, you know, and so on. So that was what these associations were meant to do. So, what has the NCAC done? Well, um, we have really tried, you know, working with the artists again. You know, you know, we never, you know, we never leave the artists behind. We work with the artists to reconstitute this association. You know, you know, you know, you have been active in these things. I mean, yeah. so many, so many attempts have been made. Yeah. So usually, um, so finally in 2012, you know, we were able to have all these associations into Congress. I mean, I mean, they had their executives, you know, writers, musicians, book publishers, film producers, and so on. Okay, so that was done. Mm -hmm. And because of that, we were even able to move a step further in the copyright because we brought these associations and they formed the board of the copyright society. I know you have a lot of questions on copyright, so I will not, I mean, preempt, I mean, I mean those questions. So, exactly. so really, you know, by 2013, um, we had all the associations, you know, ready with the executives. But of course. I mean, they are not strong. Most of them are not strong. I mean, I mean, and usually it's the issue of funding, you know, because um, you have an executive, you know, they want to do activities, but unfortunately, I mean, they cannot, you know, do many activities, you know, because of funding, I mean, issues like office space, you know, and so on. But, but of course, having said that, I mean, I mean, I mean, you know, the executives, you know, have kept on, you know, trying, you know, I mean, for trying. Example, uh, for example, you know, the writers, you know, I mean, they are you know, really doing very well. <laughs> yeah, know, no, no, I know for a fact, I know for a fact, uh, I know for a fact, because we have professional writers in the Gambia who are yeah. academically brilliant. Uh, so they've been writing proposals in their own right. 
um, to be able to do some of the activities uh, that they can do. And then we lack this capacity in the in the other uh, creative sectors, and and that is the reason why. Um, okay, I'm not saying that. I tell you, uh, I mean, I mean, those are your words. I I don't think. I don't. I, <laughs> I don't think. I don't think. I don't think the musicians lack that capacity. I think, I think, you know, I mean, I mean, some of you can can write as much a proposal as, as, as the writers. I Me, mean, really, I want to be very, very positive on this. I think what we need now and what we are really doing as we speak um, on the 22nd of September, um, that's next Tuesday, you know, God willing, we are going to Mansakonko to sign uh, NCAC, I will um, sign an MOU. It's a new project uh -huh. um, funded by the EU and is managed by the Federal Commerce Industry. NCC is there, Gambia Wrestling Federation is there, and the Chamber of Commerce. The idea of this project is to develop wrestling as a cultural sport, so they are going to build arenas. But the other section of the project is to empower this artistic association, to one, and number two, to facilitate the operation of the Copyright Coaching Society. And you know, the consultant oh. arrived yesterday, you know, from Belgium. Okay, um, um, uh, Mr. Um, Mr. Cisse, um, my question is, and, and I have to ask this question because you said uh, the arts associations are mentioned in the in the in the in the in the constitution of the Gambia. the Copyright yeah. Act, yeah. and then and then being the case, that means uh, legally they are binding. They don't even need registrations uh, uh, to to form themselves. So are, are we saying that there should be a subvention that should come directly from the government to support these associations? Uh, you know, that is our wish. That is our wish, and that is what we are working on. So that is why on the 22nd, when we sign this, I mean, I mean, I mean MOU, there is a consultant, uh, you know, a lawyer, Mr. Gibi, and the mm -hmm. project has enlisted him. And we have just submitted to him all the constitutions of the seven associations. You know, all of he has all of them on his desk. What we have asked him to do as per his contract is to review the constitutions of music union, writers union, filmmakers union, and so on and so forth. He will review the constitutions and also, I mean, after reviewing them, I mean, I mean, now we'll come back to us at the NCAC and we'll suggest like certain measures which can be done so that this um, these associations will have their autonomy and independence, as it should be as per Gambian law. So the issue of subvention, the issue of office space, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, you know, will all be, you know, given high consideration. And because yeah. the only support way we can move forward, the only way we can move forward. Support for their plan of actions also, because they have submitted um, uh, the past congresses that I have attended, we have submitted um, uh, action plans which uh, NCAC yeah. um, uh, intended to support uh, so, that, so that we can be able to do our activities. And this is not forthcoming. Well, yes, yes, it's not forthcoming because there's no money. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean the, uh, look, uh, the intention is good. Um, yeah. The side of the artist, the, side of the artist, the artist mm -hmm. has a good intention because they are earning yeah. their living from what they are doing. So let them alone, everything will be fine. On the side of the NCAC, that's government, our intention is good because nobody mm -hmm. can teach us the importance of art and culture in national development. It brings mm -hmm. jobs, it brings national unity, it brings entertainment, it forges national cohesion. You know, art you, you know, has the power, I mean, I mean, develop I mean, societies. So we know that all what is missing is the financial aspect. All what is missing is exactly. the financial aspect. And, and for that, I mean, there's no blame game. All what we are doing now under this new project we are signing, I mean, I mean the MOU we are signing on the 22nd, is to now how do we, I mean, surmount, you know, you know that obstacle of funding, you see, is very, very important. And, and we hope after the consultant has finished his studies and has come up with, you know, proposals, these are things we will take to the ministry and, and, then, and then, I mean, I mean, take to the National Assembly and tell them, look, you voted this law recognizing these artistic associations. They have new okay. constitutions, they have new executives. Now give them annual subvention so that they can keep doing the task 
that the laws of the Gambia have asked them to do. Okay, okay. So, 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 so that advocacy, I, I, I just want to make that clear. Um, uh, for that advocacy to be met, I think uh, there should be a cohesion between the, um, the, the National Center for Arts and Culture and the Arts Associations to make that possible, to push and to press our government. I always say it, when we talk about government, we are talking about the central government, we are talking about the executive and the legislature. Uh, and and the, uh, uh, maybe the judiciary, because they also write these laws. So when we're talking about the advocacy, the advocacy must be pushed to them. That is the parliamentarians and also the, the executive for them to understand that culture can play a very uh, enormous um, 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 uh, um, job for the Gambia. Yes. Uh, yes. I fully agree with you. I fully, fully agree. Uh, Khalil, I fully agree with you. Um, all hands should be on deck. At the NCAC, at the NCAC, we are you know, working hand in glove with the associations. As I speak, um, we are you know, working with the UN system in the Gambia. We are doing a contest for um, you know, slam poetry and for fine mm -hmm. arts, and and the UN has you know you know given the NCC you know money. I mean to organize this contest, so we are doing it in conjunction with the Writers Association of the Gambia and the Visual Arts Association of the Gambia. And on the twenty fifth, you know the entire cabinet, you know the UN system, you know will meet, you know at the I twenty two, you know to give out the prizes. You know I mean I mean so at the NCC, we know the importance of these artistic associations. That is why those of them, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, who have you know programs, who have agendas, when they bring it, even if the NCAC is not, I mean, I mean, able to support financially, we, you know, we, you know, we'll find like a, a like a funder, you see, and and really um, we open our doors to all the associations. I also agree with you. We should work in advocacy. Yes, we should work on the advocacy. If you are a musician, if you are a writer, if you are a book publisher, I mean, you have contact at the National Assembly. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, you know, these are things that we can all work towards. You know, this issue of subvention for the associations. And I'm so, I mean, our MPs, uh, you know, coming from, you know, the constituencies, you know, with a large youthful population, they know how, how much effort Gambian artists are making. You know, despite the meager resources, you know, they are producing their albums, they are producing their films, you know, our books are coming out, even myself, my new book is coming out like in the coming weeks, you see. So nobody is ignorant of the efforts of Gambian artists. That is why, I mean, it should be easy to do the advocacy for, you know, subvention for the artistic associations. Okay, okay. Thank you, Uncle. That is very clear. And uh, now we switch to um, uh, the copyright. Yes. Um, in 2004, um, uh, the copyright legislation was um, enacted in parliament. And then there has been quite a lot of strife that the NCAC have taken um, uh, to ensure that they could be able to implement the copyright uh, law in the Gambia. So there has been uh, so many capacity building training programs with regards to empowering the creators to understand uh, the Copyright Act and also how the law is going to work. And so far, you have uh, established support in the establishment of the CSG, which is the Collecting Society of the Gambia. And now, according to the law, um, the CSG is supposed to have what you call an executive secretary who should be appointed and staff, meaning for it to be operational, there should be an executive director because I'm just seeing the CSG as the Gambia. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm seeing the CSG as the Gambia uh, Food uh, Safety Authority or GCCI. You know all these departments that you have where they have their executive director and they control uh, quality and manage at the same yeah. time. So why 
why that support is not forthcoming to fully support the CSG to have an executive director and staff to start being operational? Well, I mean, I mean, the Copyright Act came into being, you know, you know to protect the interests of government acts. It's two parts, you know, the, I, I mean, uh, mm. you, you know, protecting the moral rights and the CSG, I mean, to take care of the economic rights of the artists. Um, yeah. like a lot has been done in, in, over the years. A lot has been done by the NCC, you know, working together mm. with the artists. You know, as you said, you know, capacity building, you know, workshops, you know, ECOWAS, I mean, I mean, no code, you know, AU, all of them have come here, you know, you know and yeah. work with artists, you know, to build capacity and to enhance their understanding of copyright. Mm -hmm. Now, for the CSG part, that part is still pending. But even with that, a lot has been done. For example, when we revived, you know, the associations, we were able to have a Congress and there was a CSG board, you know, with the president. All that was needed was seed money for the CSG, I mean, to start doing contracts and start, you know, earning royalties. But unfortunately, as we speak, I mean, we are still working on that. You know, that is why this new project, you know, you know that the GCCI is going to manage. Um, um, you know, the other plan for the artists, for us, apart from, I mean, I mean, I mean, um, you know, the one dealing with the legal framework to help um, to rationalize the legal framework for the associations is also another part to operationalize the CSG. It's part and parcel of this project, and I mean, which is kick starting on the 22nd. So the idea is the consultant will again go back to the drawing board and offer, you know, options. You know, Kalilu, um, we believe that it's good for the CSG as it is, but you know, I mean, maybe even allow, you know, Gambians. I, you know, to have a, a you know private collecting society. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, so so for example, if the consultant says that you know we go back to the law and review the you know the copyright act, I'm sorry, there are Gambians you know who have the idea. You know, uh, sorry, we register them. Uh, you know, we license them and they operate. You know, a private, I mean, I mean, collecting society. You know, to collect for musicians, maybe like another society can come and say I'll collect for writers like myself. Another society can come and say, okay, I will collect for filmmakers. Uh, you know, as the law now, um, you know, we have an omnibus, you know, CS. Because at the time we thought, okay. uh, uh, around 2003 and four, when we were debating, we thought the economy was too small. Uh, but now we have how many radio stations? Hundred. How many TV stations? I mean, God knows how many. So many. So, so maybe, I mean, I mean, one thing I am not preempting, you know, the consultant work. But maybe one thing to do, um, you know, is to, you know, revise, you know, review, the, you know, the act and allow. For private CSG. Okay, so uh, that, uh, so uh, collecting organizations, yeah. As well as this long wait for artist collection will come to an end, and, and we, the Gambian artists, you know, will I mean, start I mean, I mean, enjoying royalties. Because now, you know, I mean, the users are many. You have many radio stations, you have television channels online, you know, and well, the nightclubs are coming back after the you know, emergency period, you know, public transport is on. And all these are, 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 are potential sources, you know, where a private, uh, you know, I mean, CSG, I mean, I mean can, can, can collect royalties and make profit and pay its members. But all those things okay. can happen uh, when the associations are strong. Okay. Okay. Uh, uncle, that, uh, that brings me to the question. Um, you know, in 2015, uh, there was a validation program at the uh, Gambia Hotel School, if you could remember. Uh, uh, this was um, uh, supported by ECOWAS. And then uh, the motive of that particular exercise is to come up with the, to validate the empowerment instrument, which is the copyright regulations. So, and then w so, when, when, I mean, those have been done. I mean, I mean, when this new government came into power, uh, the first thing that uh -huh. they did, you know, was to enact you know the regulation, so they are ready. I mean, I can I can show you a copy. Just if you allow me. So the so the empowerment. Okay, good. Um, uh, that is brilliant. Um, that is brilliant. Brilliant, uncle. Yes. Uh, you know, I mean, I mean, they were signed you know, by the honourable minister. You know, so, so the regulations are ready. Okay. So that now, I mean, I mean, anybody who wants to establish a private, you know, a, you know, CMO, you know, for example, 
I mean, I mean now, now it's a lot easier. It's just for us to amend the law. But so really, um, the intention on our uh -huh. side, on the side of government, as far as this copyright is concerned, has been consistently, you know, positive. And I must no, say, I, 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 so, I, 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 I must say, say, I just want to say, have been say very as, very a very department, as a department, say as a department, as as a department, yes. Oh, yes. At, uh, your intention is um, uh, your intention is good. Um, oh, yes, and, and the artist too, and, and the artist too, and the artist too, you know, have whenever we call them, they come. You know, they have been very very cooperative. You call them to meetings, to workshops. You know, they, you know, they come, you know, positively. So, so the artistic community have also been very, very patient. So I think, you know, really, I mean, I mean, we are now going to move forward. And I think one way to move forward is to have the option of creating private CMOs. Yeah, I okay. mean, I mean, I mean, Gambians invest, and then, you know, the laws are here. So an investor comes and create a private CMO and collect royalties. Okay, 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 now, Uncle, uh, one question. Um, inside the regulation, is uh, uh, did you manage to come up with the uh, launching fees and then, you know, yes. stipulate yes, and outline? All here. Yeah, they are all there. Yeah, the fees are all here. Yeah, I, tell you, I mean, the licensing fees are all here. I, I, I don't have them offered, but they are on this page. You know, they are, you know, they are in the addendum to the, to the regulation. So, so basically, I mean, I mean, if uh, if the consultant suggests that we review the copyright act and allow for private CMOs, I mean, I mean, I mean, work can start immediately. But already, but, this legal framework. But, 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 for me, but, but, but for me, but for me, I think the trial should be the trial should be we have to at least one or two year try to implement what we have now because we have done great work. Um, starting from 2014 to date, and then we must have to test and try and see, you know, uh, and see if this is really going to work with that CMO, and then we can we can enact, we can we can make amendments in the in the in the in the act, uh, you know, because as of now, okay, as of now, uncle, if someone infringe on my rights. For instance, the radio stations, the TV stations, the online TV stations. Why are you not collecting um, royalties? Why are you not uh, issuing licenses to them? Or are you oh, doing no, no. that? Um, well, well, we have not done that because um, that is the um, that is not the task. You know, in the, the common law system, I mean, um, you know, CSDs are like autonomous. In the French system, yeah. uh, you know, the you know the Copyright Society is part of. It's like NCC, a government department. Again, you know, Senegal have changed recently. Well, Senegal have, you know, you are the only Francophone country to have changed that recently. You know, now they yeah. have, you know, a, like an artist-led, you know, CMO. So, that, yeah, yeah. So, so, so we cannot collect, you know. And, and Karim, I think um, really the question is, artists, NCAC, come together quickly, um, you know, through this project. You know that is starting. Um, I mean, I mean, I mean, very soon from the EU. I look at the associations, strengthen them, mm -hmm. give them subvention. We reconstitute the CSD board. And they start, you know, signing contracts with users like TVs and radios. That's the way forward. And also open up for private investors. So the CSD, as you know, mentioned in the Copyright Act. Like you said, can you know can be there? So if you are an artist, now you have a white choice. Uh, do I, I mean, register with the CSD, or do I register with Calidus CSD, or do I register with XCSD? So in fact, I mean, I mean that's what is even um, you know feasible because in so many countries where you have a CSD which is close to government, you, you know they fail. Like exactly. in the Nigerian situation, I mean, I mean Koson is not government. It is a private entity, you know, by the artist in Nigeria. I mean, this, you know, the new CSDs, um, like CSD in Senegal, in you know, the place, the PSDA, it's a private led thing. It is the artist led. You see? Yeah. So that, increasingly, that, 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 increasingly I, I mean, CSDs are getting private and not government. So I think exactly. that's that, that is what I that is what I try to sell to the artists. Like artists must be able. Uh, to take their own responsibilities uh, to manage their own affairs. 
and then this is uh, this is going to empower them because um, when you when you check it all over the world, the collective society organizations, you know, that is why they call it collective management. So you know, the uh, the CMOs are purely organized by artists, and then they are administered by artists. They can be able to um, you know appoint other people to do their day-to-day -day routine works, but then the board have to comprise of the artists. Um, uh, Uncle, we, we want to thank you once again and the center for some of the brilliant work that you are doing. Um, um, with regards to, um, with regards to the, the, the collecting society, because the collecting society at the moment had a board, are you, are you going to dissolve it or what is going to happen with the collecting society because it's mentioned in the constitution well uh, I, mean, I mean i mean i mean their term expired you know you know so so really um, what we are going to work on because now um, our, our our currently as we speak we are busy working with our minister uh, for a relief package for artists you know COVID relief package in the, in the COVID situation okay now as we speak i mean i mean our minister is working very very hard on that you know we want I mean, I mean, I mean, to have like money. How many million? How many million? How many millions? Uh, well, I, I, he's working on it. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, um, and he has given us very, very positive feedback that there is, um, you know, strong possibility of getting money for you know the artists, you know, because they have suffered a lot, of, you know, from the COVID, you know, lockdown, and because you know oh. art, you know, has to do with crowds and you know, you know, venues, you know, I mean, equipment, hairers, you know, you know, hairers, DJs, musicians, you know, filmmakers, they have all suffered. You know, producers, you know, have got their, I mean, contracts, you know, in Tatas and so on. So, so, you know, we approach the NCC, we approach the ministry and they accepted that and they have put a forth um, an artist COVID relief fund. So oh, okay. as speak, that is what we are waiting for. Now, when that comes, of course, we are going to consult all the artists. How are we going to distribute it? What mechanism to use, and so on and so forth. Now, during that discussion, at this issue of you know revising the mandate of the CSG, it will come up. You know, this issue of strengthening the legal framework of the associations will come up. And this issue okay. of, of of subvention. Imagine we have a lot of money from government. You know, we can say, well, you know, X percentage is for artistic association. You know, and, okay. then, and then we put it into their bank accounts, you know, ask them to go to Congress, they have a new executive and have, you know, some seed money, you know, maybe buy one, you know, computer, I mean, I mean, employ at least one secretary, you know, and then, and then have a, you know, I mean, like an address. You know, and I think that will be a very good beginning for the artistic sector. So really, we are hopeful that with this relief package, you know, we are expecting, you know, artists will have money in their pocket, you know, I mean, I mean, to take care of business at home and also the artistic associations will also have some, you know, seed money to start, I mean, I mean, operating. So as long as the artistic associations are not active, you know, Kalilu, you know, progress will be slow. Yeah, th that is the problem. That is the problem. But again, I think some of your mandate should be given to the arts associations to be able to empower them because for their member for their members to be I able to come respect. And take it, no um, yeah, 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 no, no. But uh, that brings me to the question of the registrations because when you say when you when you check it in a not cell, NCAC is uh, carrying out a registration. And then at the same time, the arts associations are carrying out registration. There can be a synergy, like NCAC can say, okay, anyone who is an artist, like a musician, instrumentalist, or you are a singer, register through your main body, and then those registrations will be transferred. The data can be transferred to you as, as, the, as the Center for Arts. Fine, fine. A good idea. Yeah, so so in that way, in that way, the members of those associations will respect their associations because when they need a recommendation from your department, the department can tell them, okay, before you have to register with your association, and then that mandate will strengthen those associations. I think we should start doing something like that. Excellent idea. 
Yes, because we are working on that. Of course, you know, I mean, there are so many things. So now, uncle, uncle, if if I if I per se tells you that um, I would be able to um, uh, uh, provide an, an expert um, uh, organization that will be able to uh, uh, give you some systems where uh, you will be able to monitor and, uh, for instance, find the indicators for the usage of copyright. Uh, is that forthcoming? Do you think um, the center will be able to? Uh, oh. Oh, in fact, in fact, I mean, I mean, every day we receive you know, offers of help from WIPO in Geneva, NOCOT in Norway, and mm -hmm. Koson in Nigeria, I mean, Aripo in Zimbabwe, Equas, they all want to come. All what they are waiting for is for the CSD to start to preach. All kind okay. of software you can think of, all kind of, 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 of material needs to ensure that users pay for the copyright work they are using, you know, they will bring. You see, even this morning, I received an email, you know, from Zimbabwe, you know, from Aripo. Like, how far from is this? Yes. From Aripo. So, so, I mean, there's a lot of international goodwill. And also, uh, the government is fully ready. Because, look, in the National Development Plan, as and policy is mentioned there. You see? That's what, no, that's and what it, it, about it, it, the employment it, 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 and human like development. Yeah, it's mentioned. You know? It's mentioned. So, mm -hmm. so the whole idea of empowering youth in this bad way syndrome all can be solved through arts and culture. You see, so that is why I mean, I mean, I mean, all hands should be on deck, the artists, the associations, and NCAC, so that you know we can. I mean, I mean, I mean, um, make. Art work for artists. I thank you very much. All right, thank you so much, Uncle. And I think uh, we, we've heard uh, some important things from you that uh, there should be a synergy between the arts associations and the National Center for Arts and Culture um, uh, to be able to develop our creative sector in the Gambia. And at the same time, uh, there should be synergies uh, for us to come together uh, to request what you call subvention from the government of the Gambia, and which you are you know, um, uh, trying a lot uh, to see that um, by the end of this year, uh, the Arts Association could be oh, able no, before, to... Oh, oh, Akalilu, Akalilu, I am, I, you know, I'm very hopeful, you know, I, I hope my hopes are not dashed. But before the end of the year, you know, like, like when we get this COVID, you know, really fun, you know, I mean, apart from putting money, you know, giving some, some amount mm -hmm. to the artists, another thing mm -hmm. would be to give some, some, some money, I mean, to the association. Yes. Yeah. The regulations are enacted now, and then the yeah. regulations are already finished. The lancing uh, structures have already yeah. been made, yeah, and right, everything. Yeah. And we saw it. So, congratulations, yeah. congratulations to to the center and all the people who participated in the process. I, I, I could remember the validation was done at you know in 2015. Uh, so, um, yeah, uh, th that is very good. Um, Uncle, um, thank you so much. And also the UNESCO phone, the IFCD. Um, yeah, the IFCD. Um, um, the phone is already, um, maybe probably in September this month, they should be able to release the uh, call for funding. I don't know. When, when is the call for funding? September, October. Do you? September, October. And when we get it, you know, and when we get it, we'll share it with people like you who have, you know, I, I really want to come in for the interest you have on uh, on this matter. Um, since you are here and now that even you are away, you have been very consistent uh, in your advocacy. And, and I think uh, you do it firmly, but with respect, mm -hmm. you know. So yeah. really, I want to commend you. I, I, I think you are doing good work. And that should be the spirit. Um, we need not blame anybody. Mm -hmm. We are all in this together. Our intentions mm -hmm. are good. But sometimes, even with the best of intentions, I mean, I mean, if the means are, are, are low, I mean, and you cannot make progress. So that's why I always tell you know the staff here, um, no need to blame anybody. I mean, I mean, I mean, the artists are with us; they are patient with us. I mean, you know, let us just keep on working together with them, so that we reach the destination we want to to be.
All right. Thank you so much, Uncle. Thank you, Mr. Hassan Sise. That was Hassan Sise, the Director General for the National Center for Arts and Culture, the former uh, copyright director and a great historian, and the former Secretary General of the Writers Association of the Gambia. So he is also an artist, you know, he is an artist. So all what we are talking about, at the end of the day, he wrote so many books. So he is also waiting for his royalties, not only the musicians that are singing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. So, yeah, thank you so much, Uncle. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh no! Uh, uh, well, me, I'm, 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 I'm still here for the next thirty minutes. Yes, I saw it. I saw it. Supersonic's money transfer is giving you an unbeatable bonanza from now until the end of October. Yes! From now till the end of October, you stand a chance of winning a bag of rice when you receive monies in the Gambia from UK, Europe, USA, Canada and Switzerland with Supersonic's money transfer. Amazing! So from now till the end of October, every time you receive monies in the Gambia from UK, Europe, USA, Canada and Switzerland, you stand a chance of winning a bag of rice. Only 100 bags available, so hurry now and be part of the 100 lucky winners in this special unbeatable bonanza from now until the end of October with Supersonic's money transfer. Enjoy our safe, fast, reliable and convenient money transfer service with the largest payout network in the Gambia with charges starting from zero. Yes! Visit the Google Play Store or the Apple Store today to download the Supersonics Money Transfer app and enjoy excellent money transfer services only with Supersonics. The unbeatable bonanza with Supersonics. Supersonics money transfer Adanion on January Monday it journey ha October gasa e it journey ha October gasa he da wawi ganyade saku maro watu wo hebida kalis he der gambia do imarando ma UK Europe USA Canada wala Switzerland he Supersonics money transfer no weli awa it journey ha October gasa watu wo hebida kalis he der gambia do imarando ma UK Europe USA Canada wala Switzerland he da wawi ganyade Saku maro. Ko saku ji teme dere tunnong heddi. Awa yaw no de. Wonong he pe yimbe teme dere malabe. Pifi ganya gol dinje nari. Do he oktoba gasu de. He supersonics money transfer. Welto de. He nenel dire kalis purnde maunu de he nere gambia. Yaw ne. La bunde kadi. He njoddi. Futor ndi hai dara. Yehe ka Google Play Store. Wala ka Apple Store. Hande. Wadon download Supersonics Money Transfer apong. Welto dong he neldu gol. Wala hepa gol kalis. Ndi nye nari. Ko Supersonics tu. Supersonics Money Transfer. Wale kudima na afalia. Kabo sain. Kata Oktober karo bandula. Ha. Kabo sain. Kata Oktober karo bandula. Ipega nyo roke la mani boto lalo. Watu wati nita ata kodota Gambia Banko Kanjak Membote na UK, Europe, USA, Canada Walafo Switzerland Ndiya tambini ni Supersonics Money Transfer Ha, bari nye ndiya ata Kabo saing kata Oktober karo bandula Watu wati nita ata kodota Gambia Banko Kanjak Membote na UK, Europe, USA, Canada Walafo Switzerland Alonko ini mani boto besela suwa konole Nko, mani boto keme drone bijede Ote bamba saing saing Faida kese nyo mo kemol kono Meni be ganye roke la Nyo nkudi mala Kabo saing kata Oktober karo bandula Anin Supersonics money transfer dorong ibe nyo soto la wolo inyo seo ndi nyo kukoyola mentariyata ala no warta nyo mbata da klinteje kodita la karola katu yalo nyo 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 kodita adulatu meo warta gambia banko be kanjak wato niyo kodota je wato wati hani fadino ita ajola je tanda google play store wala na apple store bi ye supersonics money transfer apple download ye nyo seo ndi ane nyo kodita adulatu ane nyo supersonics nyo kudima abe soto la wato drone nyo 
Panasonic Money Transfer. Nya dalu si wat indi len khewal bu neek haneek fi ba wari Oktoba di jek. Wow! Fi ba wari Oktoba di jek, man nga am sansu win bena sa ku malo sa yo jate khalis fi chibiru rewi gambia. Ba yeko, fofu sa UK, Europe, US, Canada, ak Switzerland, ak sub Panasonic Money Transfer. Hala li ne khatina, dore kotei, be weri oktober di jek, man nga win bena sa ku malo, sa yo jate khalis fi si bir rewi gambia, ba yeko, UK, Europe, US, Canada, ak Switzerland. Temeri sa ku malo, nyofi neka, kon ga wal nga boka, si temeri nidi nga khamne, man nga am sans win, si khewal yi nga khamne, ken do tuka na table, ak super sanix money transfer. Ba ne khulen, tisun yo neka y khalis, bigena wur, gana gaw, gana nopale, ak yo neka y khalis, bigena ma, Maga si bir rewi gambia te dunyi la faye ku dara. Saitu len nyo si Google Play Store wala Apple Store nga muna bindo si sunyi ad bi di su Pasanix Money Transfer app. Shoo! Chay bi khewel ak su Pasanix rek!